My name is Mad Squash 924 Welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 3. This is now part 53 of our Let's Play thus far. And on the last episode, we just finished the Quarry and Geth War. Basically. And, um, spoilers if you didn't watch the last episode. So if you didn't watch the last episode, here's your chance, here's your chance, here's your chance. It's gone. Okay, the Geth won. Who would have thought? I know. Another Reaper has died. You are proving Indeed. that humans are capable soldiers. But I think you made a grave mistake allying with the synthetics. I am You're disappointed wrong. you did not heed my advice. I'm disappointed that you don't want to side with the synthetics. They deserve a chance to live. And they've been almost genocided, what, twice? So yeah, I, I, same with the Quarians. They were almost genocided, what, twice as well? However, uh, it was due to their own I failings, right? I will mourn the fact that they died and the machines still live. That is the tragedy. Eh, arguable. It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish, century upon century, letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces, and we are their prey. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Well, you seem pretty judgmental for one that says that. Do not that, care so. what others think. Do what you must. Now, I know we have to talk to Diana. I believe it's supposed to be in our quarters. Uh, I'm curious if we can talk to her here as well, though. So, you know? Are you doing a story on the Asari who were turned into Reaper creatures? The Ardat Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. Commander, I'm doing a segment on the Geth Quarian War. It should take maybe Good. an hour. Can we talk in your cabin? Okay, I guess we have to do that in my cabin. Let's start with that then. I'm sure everybody's thrilled to know of our, well, our methods. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. Why'd she sound like she was I'm in sure my you've room? Got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, True. and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies, and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? Look, um, they were misunderstood. This is true. What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attack them. The Geth fought back in self-defense, just like any organic would. Now that we right. freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping uh, the yeah. Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? Well, they were upgraded when we uh, dealt with that, so they shouldn't have any problems. However, it is possible the Reapers could... Also, theoretically, possibly upgrade, unless I can't. Making so the Geth can be turned on us again. Eh, that's irrelevant. The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I bet my life on it. Now, Some here's a question from Libertarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You going to go follow <laughs> your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy we've got another fleet. Aye, aye, Commander. Well, that works. No one else wants to speak to us? Yes? Good. Do we want to change our laundry? Our look? What do we even have in here? Um, for casual wear, I mean. I still like our 
I still like the casual Ford look. It's just good looking. Do I want to switch helmets though? Oh, I kind of hate that. <laughs> yeah, oddly enough, I do like this one. Makes headshot and weapon damage go up anyways. And that's good. So. It's just something about me changing up our gear. That I don't find all that appealing. I mean, not that we need the health boost. They can barely bust through our shields as it is, you know. But if we were going to go for statistics-wise, cynically, we'd want to go the Hanark, Cedar, Keter. I don't know. Regardless, it's it's fine. We don't need to. Let's head to uh, Crew Deck. I want to see if anyone wants to talk. It's possible they do. Possible they don't. We did just complete, like, a huge mission. So I assume somebody does. Like, uh, Caden or something. If I can find them. James and Caden are hanging out. Chakwas, Karis, and Liara. Right, I understand. They're somewhere. We're just they're in the lounge. Oh, they're in that room. Okay. We'll talk to Garrus, though. I know you had your reasons for choosing the Geth Shepherd, and I'll respect them. But the Quarians grew on me. Maybe it was because they never gave up on finding a home. Maybe it was knowing Tally. Or maybe it was all the Geth that tried killing them over the years. But this is war. And if the Geth can help us win it, I guess that's all that matters. Not I agree. sure if having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. Another time, maybe. Well, at least I know Garrus' opinion about the situation. I think it's the right call. And I stand behind it. An entire race gone. Uh, I still yep. can't order salvage teams to recover anything. The Geth kept their word. Their warships have joined Admiral Hackett's fleet. Regardless, Liara, it would have been either the Geth or the Quarians that would have died. So regardless, there would have been an entire species Ready for the gone. Next mission. So the private messages terminal has new There is that. And we could have took a look at the Shadow Broker terminal, but I really don't care for that terminal. It's just Got unneeded information there. Mm. Ooh, I want Old in. House. Caught it on the river. Shit. Thought you were bluffing on the flush. Good for you. Can it, Lieutenant? <laughs> yes, sir, Major Alenko, sir. Shepard, I'd deal you in, but Vega just cleaned me out. Oh, come oh, on. Man. I really as deep as your pockets go? No sentimental crap stowed away? Investments? I got some land on the Sunshine Coast I could put up. <laughs> I'll pass. Tragic by the Quarians. I always admired the resilience. I wonder how history will remember them. That's true, I don't totally know. Totally took down a Reaper. Yeah, sure did. And you know, I'm just gonna have to go with you on trusting the Gath. I hope it works out. Now let's talk later. Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. Well, James literally has nothing to say, which is hilarious. Well then, to the CIC. Let's head to, I believe, the Citadel. We could take a look at the galaxy map around as well, but I don't think there's anything. No messages either. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that. Especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious. Just... <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess, although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. Commander. <laughs> That's nice. Renok. 
Okay, let's see what we have in our possession. You know, I don't remember this being here, the Hades Nexus. I don't think it was. In fact, I'm almost certain it wasn't. I found something. Yep. As I have surmised. Okay, 50%. The others are on a planet. So we do got more planets to discover before we go to the Citadel first. The meeting with the counselor. The Asari counselor. This also gives us more opportunities to um, get some side missions done with the uh, people that are on the Citadel, which is good. Okay, let's start with Hoplos and then go to Pamiata, then Sheol. I know there's a side mission anyways where we have to go to the Hades Nexus, so it's just proper. I'm pretty sure there was one. I could be wrong, of course. What we got? Obelisk of Karza? Wasn't that it? I think it was. I could be wrong. 100% done. Reapers Good. Eluded. On to the next. I found something. Excellent. Now, what do we have here? And this planet. Fifty percent. The other must be fuel. Faster than light jump successful. And we'll head to Sheol. I wonder what's over there. It's tiny. It's so tiny. A Protean Sphere. Hm. That's it. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I think the mass relay is on the right side, if I can remember correctly. Yep. Okay, so that's done. Mercy's failed. Da, da, da. Can't go there. Nima Cluster. I think we've been there. I don't think there's anything there. I can double check. There's a field depot at least. Mule Jul. Have we been to Mule Jul? I know. I don't know. It's this place is a, kind of an unknown. So far, nothing. Actually, nothing. Okay, so this is one of those places we can go to, but there's just nothing here. I, I don't know why it's like that. What is the purpose of that place being here? I mean, this has a listening post, but yeah. Nothing much. Attic and Beta, Hades Gamma. Okay, a lot of places I know we've been. Horsehead Nebula we've been. Anos Basin we've been. This is a Krogan DMZ. Cilian Nebula, 9%. Okay, suddenly this opened up to us. Why did it open up to us? I couldn't tell you, but it did. Let's go to Loropi. I found something. Okay. What we got? A lot of stuff. Wreckage. Uh huh. Do we 
No, we don't even look at the wreckage, huh? You silly, um. Okay. That's fine. We have a lot more, um, planet searching than I thought we would. I'm glad that it is like this in this game compared to the others. I mean, this is definitely the best iteration of successful. space travel. Because in the first game, I mean, we could travel wherever we wanted, right? And we didn't have to worry about fuel, from what I remember. Signal but you had to physically land on every little planet, and then you physically had to, like, find things. And it was kind of a pain in the ass. And then the second game, in some ways, was worse and better at the same time, because you didn't have to land on the planet, but then you spend, like, ten minutes or five minutes on every little planet trying to, like do like a grid-like search of every planet for elements and stuff, and that, that really sucked. I mean, this way you just, it's so much easier. You still have the fuel to contend with, which is not a big deal. But, um, we get to just go around, scan each planet, see if there's anything, and then only grab one thing and go, you know? It's easy. It's simple. Code of the Ancients. There's been the, um, two other things after... Well, one other thing after this thing, really. Whatever it may be. Alcor Flotilla. Huh. Isn't it uh, ironic that the Alcor and Voluses, every, um... Species is alive. But the Corians are no more. Oh, I don't know. I think so. Evasion successful. Teolia. Okay. This is the last one. I hope we have enough fuel to get back. Holy crap. Signal confirmed. Hope we find fuel here as well. If we don't, we're in kind of some trouble. Ring of a loon. Okay. Okay, there's a few things here, apparently. Oh, money. Won't say no to that. How much? 375, that should get us back. Reapers eluded. Holy crap. It's huge. Oh, there's a field depot here too. Didn't even realize. That's awesome. Okay, so this place is now done. 100%. Yup, yup, uh-huh, mm-hmm. I wonder if, like, um, Horsehead Nebula and some of these other places open up to us as well. Like, the first planet you can't do anything of, like, the first system, but then there's others you can. You know, like Anal Basin, maybe. I don't know, it's a worth a try. Worth a look. Nope. Okay, I guess we're heading to the Citadel. It's time. And I'm not sure, but have we completed every DLC so far? Like, is all of them done at this point? I think it might be. That's possible. Let's head to the docks. Um, where should we You're go, clear though? To dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh uh. Yes, Commander. Thank you. Okay, is anyone here? Supposedly, no. But we will take a look at every scenario. We will go to the 
place where we meet the counselor last. So we will definitely do that. But I'm sure we got some stuff for side missions. You know, I kind of thought we'd meet Kelly in this game. It's the only person from the second game we actually have yet to meet. And Kelly lived. No? Yeah, she's pretty sure she lived. Unless she, like, died on the way out of here. I guess I would have to check the, um... Memorial board, wouldn't I? Is anyone even here? James, refugee, Zaid, yeah. So, yes and no. It's a good chance to look at the shop, see if there's anything new and improved for us. Who were those people you were with? Bunch of mercs from Omega. Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. Should have studied the job longer. Who were those people you were with? Bunch of it's kind of a shame that we can't have Zaid with us. Um, number four. That's where we're at the end. Hey. I was looking to see where oh. this uh, refugee was at. I don't believe it. Look at me now. Doing better? Look at you now. Did you ever doubt me? Don't answer that. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Let's go to the end. And then we'll make our rounds the other way. I found a Prothean Sphere on Gehinnom. Mm. Contact the Alliance and tell them Commander Shepard asked them to pay you for it. Yes, thank you. I'll call them right now. See, that's what I mean. That's why we go and explore. Just like that, we got more people on our side. And we got 15,000 credits. And people for the war, really. That's... That's pretty alright. Let's get out of here. But we'll go to our offices last. Just because we know that's where the main mission's at. But we do have to be the Citadel regardless, so. Yeah, the embassies. We'll go there last. We'll head to Purgatory. I kind of doubt there's going to be anything in Purgatory, right? Or was there side missions to pick up there from before? Nope, apparently there's something. There's an angry Elcor at the very least. Is it you? I recovered the code of the Ancients from Takuna. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Shock and joy. Really, this is wonderful news. Thank you, human. Sincerely, this will greatly aid our people. Nice. Okay, R.A., Edie, and Joker are here. Let's see if Edie and Joker have anything new to say. Apparently, Good. that's it, though. This place is probably the least active out of all the places for, like, new things happening, though, usually, I've noticed. Your turn. Counselor Tavos. Oh, okay. They're doing the exact same thing that they were uh, doing before. So, yeah, let's get out of here. What's next? It's the commons or the hospitals next. Please hospital. Moment, and let's go to the hospital. See if anyone's there that needs our assistance. Um, there's a consultant, which is number one. Okay, it's somewhere in the main lobby, right here. Excuse me, I recovered the rings of a loon. They're waiting in Bay D24. I think James. I mean Jacob. That's wonderful. Thank you. My people mm -hmm. will treat this miraculous find as a call to support their local hospitals. Mm-hmm. Great. So there's gonna be nothing new from Jacob. There never is. Might as, I might as well run and make my rounds, though. You know? I do them really quick, like. I'm not gonna explore it super thoroughly, but I don't think there's gonna be anything. Yes, General Corellius should make a full recovery. Yeah, I think we've done everything at this point. 
All right, let's go back. The ones I really need to be looked at thoroughly is probably the commons. The commons are take some time to do. And hopefully I don't have to like do all this like again after this the meeting. Like it'd be kind of crappy if we did. There's a researcher in the courtyard. Okay. We can also take a look at the shops while we're here. Welcome to Kanala Exports. See if there's anything that catches my eye. We appreciate your visit. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Ooh, I like that. I'm pretty sure that's Bar Levon, but we can't interact with him. A bigger magazine would be perfect, though. So we have to go to the courtyard? Yeah, that's number four. Okay. I've recovered the go. obelisk of Karza. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. You have? It's amazing. Thank you, Commander. That's going to help you. Good. So how are we doing uh, mission-wise now? Okay, so we sorted by all this. This is the Eden Prime stuff. This is the weird Omega stuff that we couldn't do. Um, Find the ciphers and deliver them at the Citadel Embassy. I'm going to have a Reaper code. Okay, but that's at the embassy. And a C-Sec officer needs target jamming technology to save lives during a future text. Find the technology and bring it to him in the commons. Yeah, some of these things we definitely missed, though. Like the Omega and Eden Prime stuff. Not a big deal. Okay. If Liara's in the same place, we won't even talk to her, because she'll just say the same damn thing as before. Yeah, nothing in here that's really catching my interest. She should be right here. Yep, she is. Okay. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Scopes, heat sinking, piercing. I want to get piercing. I like giving that to everybody. We'll get this one too. I wonder if the ones on common in the uh, Persimmon Commons we missed. I wonder if we missed that one. That's possible. That we might have. Okay. Let us head to the Presidium offices. That time it was relatively quick, which is nice. Because I'm feeling like we're starting to hit into the uh, end game of this game. So less things are going to start popping up. Okay, and Bailey and the counselor. Supposedly there's two things here, according to our journal. However, that might be something that we have to find later as well, or we missed it, which is also possible. You know? Um, first line of business, let's go to our office, actually, um, before we end today's episode. And then in the next episode, we will actually begin with the meeting with the counselor. Because I feel like that's going to unlock a big box of secrets. At some point, I kind of hope Miranda contacts us again, too. I want to do her missions, whatever she's up to. Nothing on the terminal. And... We could purchase something in here. Oh, here we go. Jamming. Rape a code fragment. Okay. So let's see here. 
Uh, an Eclipse Covert Ops team is willing to sell jamming technology. They've recovered from a gas station. Deploying these jamming units on the Presidium could hinder enemy forces in the case of another attack on the Citadel, thereby saving lives, civilians, or well, saving civilian lives. Because the Alliance cannot formally support the Eclipse mercenary work, this technology should be treated as though it were discovered during an actions on Rhinoc. Yep. Okay, and then the sorry war strategists have encountered difficulty protecting Reaper from movements due to the poor understanding of Reaper thought processes. A scavenger is willing to sell a Reaper processor that he discovered among the debris from Sovereign's attack on the Citadel several years ago. This intel could dramatically improve the efforts of Asari forces. Okay. How much money do we have? We have... That's going to make us very poor if we do it. <laughs> I almost... I thought about picking it up until I actually saw how much money we actually have. And, um... That would give us, like, $200. Anyways, I think this is a point where we can stop today's episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of Mass Effect 3. It was a little on the, um, easy side. Um, so not much happened. But on the next episode, we will be starting next episode with meeting uh, the Asari Counselor and seeing what she has in store for us. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you all leave a like, leave a comment. Um, tell me what you guys think of today's episode. If you're new to my channel or been watching me for a little while and you haven't done so as of yet, feel free to subscribe to me, Mad Squash 924 and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. And I'll see you guys all next time on Mass Effect 3. Goodbye.